Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456 and welcome to a special video on Rise of the Tomb Raider score attack challenges. Um, so what these are, are basically different levels, or all, pretty much all the levels in the game um, into a score attack. Now each level has uh, wisps that you have to collect to increase your score and multiplier. Uh, you can shoot lanterns from far away for a higher score based on your multiplier as well. Killing enemies also grants you um, score. Collecting items and obviously maintaining your combo meter is absolute, the absolute priority. Taking any damage will um, immediately cut off your multiplier and you'll lose score. Now these are quite hard to do. Um, I've actually gone ahead and done every single one um, all in, in gold. Um, you need to do this for the platinum. You need to have all of the challenges complete for gold uh, or with a gold medal. Um, so the way it works is uh, you pick a stage, and I'm just going to go all the way to the beginning here. You pick a stage, you pick a difficulty. Uh, the only thing the difficulty changes is that you get three times the points for kills on the hardest difficulty. Um, it's pretty much always recommended to play on the hardest difficulty because even the hardest difficulty in this game isn't, isn't that bad. Um, then you continue. You can pick different challenges for these stages. Um, oh, I've actually completed all of them for this one. <laughs> Yeah, so the challenges give you credits, and credits give you um, allow you to purchase cards. So let's just continue. So you can purchase cards here, um, but each of these cards they do something. So they'll here. This one says minus twenty percent. It'll give you a break action shotgun uh, with all level one, two, and three upgrades and an attached choke, whatever that is. <laughs> um, but it will minus your end score by twenty percent. However, there are also um, cards that increase your score. So there's this one here, Armor Plated, which increases your score by 100%. Um, the most, I think, percentage you can get now is about uh, 400 and something, because you can use five cards in the same um, challenge. But I've chosen to do all these cards without, uh, sorry, all these score attack challenges without cards, um, making it a lot more difficult on myself to get the gold requirement, but also showing you that it is possible to do without the cards. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because this uh, it took me a very long time to do all these um, score attacks. There are 32 of them in total, um, including the Baba Yaga ones, for, which is part of the DLC. And it, like I said, it took me a long time to do, and I didn't want to waste um, kind of the effort that I went to. So this video is going to link to a whole bunch of other videos that I have. Um, which uh, all form part of a playthrough that I did of this game and uh, that way you guys can click on the annotations on screen and then go to each of those videos in order to see me do the challenge without cards. The final thing I have to mention is that in Siberian Wilderness I use a single card uh, in, not in order to increase my score but just to get an assault rifle um, in order to go into an area. Uh, in the Copper Mill I use a card because I was uh, a little bit, uh, it took me a very long time to try and get the score requirement for this and I kept getting very close and I just got too frustrated with it and I had no choice but to use a card. I think I only used one 100% card, um, so that one, but it is very possible to get that score of 700,000 without doing that. Um, so that's another thing to note. And finally, this challenge here, the one that's called The Lost City, as far as I can tell at the time of recording, it is impossible to get the gold requirement without using cards. Um, there was something that happened during my uh, playthrough when I got the score that you see there um, that could potentially mean that it is possible to get the gold requirement, but it was something that I didn't understand. It was something that happened that I just I can't explain. Um, if you'd like to, you can watch the video and see for yourself. All right, but without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna leave each stage on the screen for about five seconds, and then you can click on the annotations uh, in order to be taken to each um, each challenge. So, and then I'll, uh, yeah, come back at the end and say bye. So uh, hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. Obviously you can use cards. Um, cards are not against the rules. I just did it so that that way it would make it easier for you to not waste cards. You could see how I did it, and use um, use that information to then use cards to make it very easy on yourself. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, I will be right back.
Okay, and there you have it. Every single challenge, uh, all done in gold. All the annotations for you to click at your uh, will. So, there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. Um, and I hope that you guys don't have as much uh, trouble and... Well, it wasn't so much trouble, it just took a long time to do. But I hope it makes it your life easier to get this platinum if you, if you uh, so care. Alright, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, my name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.